All right. Let's talk about romhacking.net real quick. Okay. So if you don't know romhacking.net, it was a website where you could get a bunch of ROM hacks. Uh, I do not think there were ROMs on the site or it was, it was discouraged to have ROMs on the site. Uh, they had the hacks. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these ROM hacks uh, required you to patch the ROM that you already have. So uh, nothing like overtly illegal was going on on this mm -hmm. website. Um, it was just a place to share different hacks and stuff uh, and different things you could do with all of your retro games. Uh, it was a great resource, and it's seemingly gone. And when I heard about this at first, I was scared because I thought this was Nintendo's doing because they've been shutting down everything. Yeah. And this really upset me. But then I learned it was the owner's uh, kind of uh, own doing. He, decided, he just decided he didn't want to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, a letter from him. I keep forgetting that my little switcher here stopped working. This is a big, long letter from him. Uh, Wario64 tweeted, Romhacking.net is shutting down. Moves to news only. Database and file archive released to internet archive. Now, that's how you shut down a website. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking put it in an archive only mode. Uh, all submissions other than news are permanently closed. All sections of the site will remain up as read only. Downloads and images will be available for as long as uh, some people will allow it. Uh, forum will remain up. Twitter and Discord affiliations have ended. Uh, and there's a big long thing here. I don't want to read the whole thing. Um, but for the, for the most part, it just seems like it's been a lot of work for this person to keep up the website. And he just doesn't want to keep up yeah. the website anymore. Um, it's not fun for him anymore. He doesn't want to do it. And I think that's a perfectly reasonable reason to shut something down like this. Yeah. Uh, in the middle, after I tweeted about this, I guess I sort of like glanced over a sentence or two in the middle where he talks about how he was doxxed. And that's part of why he decided to close things mm -hmm. down. Uh, I discovered a dishonest and hate-filled group. I learned that I had been dehumanized for a very long time. My personal details had been given out. Secret, deceitful plots had been carried out, uh, had cut me out, and drop a bomb like I am a target to destroy. My family has seen this, and after discussion, we are immediately seizing all related site operations. The plan was for him to give the reins over to somebody else because he mm -hmm. just didn't want to handle it anymore. Yeah. And it turns out the people he was giving the reins over to, there was some some argument that uh, seemed weird to him and he just decided, forget it, I'm shutting the whole thing down. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that shouldn't happen. Now, people pointed that out to me that he's been doxxed. And I was like, right. okay, well, obviously that's not cool. And then people came to me and was like, he wasn't doxxed. It turns out uh, he just didn't like the Discord mods. And he's, right. this guy's actually a big asshole. <laughs> and then I read a big diatribe from one of the Discord mods. And it seems like the guy for like the past year has been really hard to talk to. Yeah. Because he hasn't been wanting to work on this. He's, he's, he's been doing his own thing. He, he, want, he doesn't want anything to do with this. Um, and the Discord mods were mad that he wasn't talking. I'm ver I'm paraphrasing profusely here. Yeah. Uh, the Discord mods didn't like how he wasn't being communicative. So I think the doxing was them trying to reach him. And he was like, hey, man, stop sharing my personal information. Because, right. I mean, they shouldn't have been yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to reach him if he didn't want to be reached. I understand, like, this, this is people's lives. Like, people really cherish this site. People, mm -hmm. like, put a lot of work into their, their ROM hacks that they put on this site. But, man, leave this fucking guy alone. It's <laughs> not that important. Make yeah. your own goddamn site if it's that important to you. Um, so, yeah, it seems like there was just a major falling out. And that's why this website is shutting down. And right. uh, it says Discord and Twitter affiliations have ended because... The Discord mods uh, are completely separate from the guy who ran the site. Right. Because uh, he wants nothing to do with them. So. There was way more than that. He was never doxxed. I don't know who to believe. And honestly, I'm, if I'm just guessing here based on all the stuff that I've read, it seems like uh, the 
people who were running th it seems like the guy who who was paying the server fee who ran the site and the people who were running the discord or were trying to take over the site it seems like they were button heads and they yeah. and they, they had to cease operations but it seems like the people who were like running the discord and were trying to take over were being a little too much that's yeah. what it seems like to me so he should have been more communicative now who, for why it's his site. Make your own site if you're upset that he's not being communicative. I mean, like, it would, I, in a way, it's like good customer service if you would just, like, you know, talk to people. There's no like, customers. You know what I mean. Like, yeah, but that's the thing is that there's no yeah. paid anything here. Right. He, he owes nobody anything. Leave the fucking guy alone. If he's not talking to you, you got to just stop using his service. Right. Because it's a free service. He has no obligation to help anybody. Yeah. So. I don't blame him for shutting down the whole thing. Put all your stuff somewhere else, honestly. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of other places, resources for that. My favorite, because I do a lot of Mario stuff, Super Mario World Central, great for Mario World ROM hacks. There you go.